So now we've done the continuous line drawing, we're going to do the lined contour drawing. Now it's probably more frustrating than the continuous line drawing because as it sounds, you're not actually going to look at what it is you're drawing on the page. Your eyes are only going to be focusing on your hand that you are looking at to draw. So blind contour drawing is much the same as continuous line drawing, it's just that we're not going to look at the page that we're drawing on. We're only going to spend the time looking at the hand that we're drawing um, and that's where all of our attention is. So we really have to not care about what's going down on our page. Now again, and probably even more so, this isn't going to look any good. Just accept that now. Don't think that you're going to be the exception because I'm so sorry, but you're not going to be. <laughs> it's not going to look any good and that's completely fine. It's fantastic. It's just an exercise to see what it is you're doing. In a completely abstract way, it's very interesting to see and it can be quite pleasing, uh, a mess sort of on the page. But in terms of, you know, whether you'll see a pleasing looking hand on your page, it's very, very unlikely and that's fine. So your setup for this one is that you have your uh, art diary on your table. Again, you want to do a nice soft pencil, even more so for this one because you have to rely on the idea that there's definitely information getting drawn on the page, even if you're holding your pencil really lightly. So if you use like a light pencil, a 2H pencil, um, and you go really lightly on the drawing, you may not actually see your lines go down, you know, when you go back and have a look at it. So if you go with a 2B or 4B, you know, you're more likely to actually see um, lines on the page when you finish. So again, you want to choose a position that's comfortable to hold for the amount of time that we've put on the worksheet. Um, now for this one, you can do it two ways. You can have the paper in front of you and your hand um, off to the side so that you're actually twisted uh, and you don't have your art diary in your peripheral vision or in your side vision um, because we don't want to be distracted by what's going down and we don't want to be tempted by looking at the page either. So another way of doing the setup for the blind contour, if you don't quite have the self-restraint to be able to turn and know that you're not going to look at your page, is to grab a piece of paper, A4 size paper, so like A4 ripped in half is all I do, um, uh, pop a little hole in the centre of it, and then pop your pencil in that hole, and you've got a little shield. So that little shield will cover your page slightly, and your hand so that when you if you put it down on your page you're not seeing what it is that you're drawing and that'll just help you disconnect a little bit and there's nothing wrong with that if you need that absolutely do it you want to make this as easy for yourself as possible to follow and again make sure that you set up an alarm for the timer just so that you don't have to keep thinking whether or not the time's up um, you want to really just be able to disconnect and just draw what you see and and that be that um, again, something like classical music or music without lyrics, something that's calming but not terribly distracting um, is always good to play as well in the background so that you're not distracted by the background noises or you're not distracted too much by thoughts either. You can just disconnect and relax.